Welcome back to Superior Sunrise. Now join, joining me is Missy Diggins. Missy, I've enjoyed listening to you talk last night and right now, kind of telling everybody your story. But tell all the viewers at home just how you are a young advocate in this industry and how you got started. So I'm actually a young rancher myself. I run cattle with my family up in northeastern Montana, but I'm also going to school right now. I always think that there's more to learn out there, and I go to school at uh, Colorado State University down there in Fort Collins, Colorado. And I was on the CSU seed stock team this last year. And as such on that team, we got to go to stock show and we got to talk to producers from all around. We went to NCBA in San Diego and we got to go to the stock show and talk to all kinds of people. And we went to Range Beef Cow Symposium right there. They had it in Colorado this year. And when I was sitting there talking with some of the people there, they realized that young producers don't really have a way to connect and find those opportunities that are really out there for all of us. So I got it in my head to put up a Young Beef Producers uh, Facebook page, and that started going pretty well. I had a friend of mine, Libby Bigler, down at the BQA in Colorado. She suggested I set up a website. So I have a website and a blog, which, you know, working during the summer, it's not <laughs> updated as often as it should be, but it's really great. I really think that as young producers, we need to be keeping in touch with the consumers and talking about what we do and how we can help people out there. It's amazing to see a young producer such as yourself be so involved and see have such a passion for the industry. What is it like to connect with other producers across the United States and really drive you know, your passion and really advocate for the industry? Honestly, I was talking with my mom about this the other day. I, I don't get excited as much about things as I do about cattle and connecting with people. And you know, the ag industry is a business where it's, it's a people business. You need to talk to people, know people, get to know them. and like. Uh, Superior, for example, uh, Mr. Brookman, we don't think of him as a guy we work with. He, he's a friend of the family. He worked with my grandfather before he worked with my father. Mr. Brookman's been in my life forever, you know. He always comes out and we visit, go out there and talk about the cattle. And when I told him that I was on the CSU seed stock team, I said, do you think, you know, Superior would want to sponsor the team? And he said, absolutely. You know, mm -hmm. he gave me Mr. Lichty's phone number and he said, give him a call, I bet he'd want to sponsor. And sure enough, they put up an ad for us on the Superior Country page, and it was up all the way to the day of our sale. And I just wow. think that's great, those connections and just making that connection with Superior, with other producers out there. It's really important in this industry. Like you said, going to school, there's always more to learn. But this, we always talk about this at Superior. It is a people business and making those relationships and contacts and networking. How has social media played a part in where you are today? Honestly, I had to kind of get on a learning curve with social media. I was more a book person out in the field working, but I had a couple friends down at CSU gave me a hand. Like I said, Libby Bigler and Dixie Crow, she's a journalist major and equine major, and she's just a jack of all trades down there at CSU, and she really gave me a hand in kind of figuring out how to do a Facebook page and working out a blog and things like that. I have another friend, Brady Johnson. He uh, just graduated from MSU. He actually has a blog also on my website. So it's been one of those asking for help and learning. And I've talked to a couple different producers. We have a producers page on my website where we get letters from producers and we post them. And it's just advice for young producers and things like that. And I'd like to encourage anybody watching, if you'd like to tell young producers out there something, please email us on the website and email us a letter or anything. It can be like you're talking to your nephew, your son, whatever just a heart to heart of what we as young producers should be thinking about and looking for and how to take advantage of the opportunities we have out there. Well, I want to personally thank you for coming on the show and sharing your story, but also for being such a great advocate and having so much passion for this industry. It really is refreshing to see young people, you know, come back into this industry and really push forward and want to advocate for it. So I want to thank you for that. And when we come back, Kara Krish, stay with us.